Please don't. Please don't. Did you just say you're trying to get, not to get mustache wax? That's exactly what I said. On the microphone for some reason. But there's, like, there's like a wax for everything. Of course, there's waxes for, for all, all purposes. <laughs> all, all, it, it missed, <laughs> do you know where they missed out on the Karate Kid? Where? They could have made like a wax product for the cars. <gasps> Alejandro, the you karate son kid. of a wow. bitch. And We're going to license wax it. on, wax off. Please remind me. I'll, I will contact the studio. We'll get the licensing for wax on, wax off. I don't think we'll be able to get shit from the studio. going to be like, we can do this. All we need to do is hire a social media team to create the <laughs> uh, Okay. Uh, I don't know. We're recording. Guys, would you buy wax on, wax off, wax? We're not just going to start there. We can't just start. <laughs> okay. Just Mr. Miyagi, I'd say. Start the episode that do, way. Do you want me to start it properly then? Please, please, All right, please. fine, because today is November 18th, 2017. To my right, I got Pargini. To my left, I got Pedro. I'm Alejandro, and I also got that right. And people, let's talk about cars. You hit it, Pedro. Ah, oh, you've been hitting it. I know, I've been hitting it you've hard. You've been hitting uh, it I hard. Hey, hitting hey, it hard. Pedro, hey. T- take it easy on the hitting it. We, we know how <laughs> those end for eye. you. Oh, you you got it in you've your been eyes? Hit, see, you've been hitting it so hard. You need to stop <laughs> it. Oh, come on, take it easy. Take <laughs> it easy. <laughs> By the way, have you guys seen the video where the magician, some guy does like a David Blaine imp- impersonation or <laughs> no. Chris Angel? No. And there's a guy and goes, look at his pants, bro. And all, like the magician, the magician goes, look at my pants, bro. And the guy goes, the guy who's uh, the victim of it yeah. goes, oh, my God, bro, you busted a nut in your pants. Ah. <laughs> and he starts laughing. And the magician goes, look again, bro. And his pants are clean. The guy looks at him and goes, where did he go? And he comes out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus it, Christ. It's, it's actually an incredible video. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, whoever boy. thought about that was brilliant. All right, what a great way to start the morning. I don't. All oh, right. Here's the, here's the best thing about this. Yeah. I don't remember why I'm talking about that. I have <laughs> no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, moving on to automotive uh, little, content. Little odd. Well, actually, we're not going to get into automotive content okay, yet. We're, right, we're going okay. to talk about a personal question, if that wasn't personal enough already. Uh, but in this, one is, th- this is somewhat automotive, automotive related because kind of. we had it in a vlog where there was cars. Yes, exactly. And, and it talks about Vic, who's in the automotive industry. Uh, a ca- a is, captain. It sounds like we're talking yeah, about yeah. cars right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Go ahead. So, Go ahead. so uh, there was a video we did this past week, and in it we were talking about, uh, for some reason or another, what type of animal do we think Vic is? Yeah. And and we asked many of you and and most agreed that a honey badger was was a pretty pretty good assessment of him. And I, I, I want to say comments are still coming in. There's quite a variety of them. There's yeah. a lot of people saying yeah. he's a silverback gorilla. There's or, a lot of people or, or saying a, he's a lion. Or a bear. Or and a I, bear. I just want to say, guys, yes, but in West Hollywood, I don't think those are good things for That's Vic not a good no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Those are not good titles and, for and Vic would, in West and, Hollywood. And someone also asking the questions. Would in the questions, uh in the comments, I'm sorry. Someone was asking, Do you think Vic is a black bear or a brown bear oh boy i know he's a brown bear <laughs> yeah yeah but also uh, like uh, if i just look at him <laughs> yeah, yeah he might be a black bear but i know he's a brown bear so i don't know i wonder what the temperaments are between the two uh, i don't know I, I'm, I'm i'm more along the lines of a grizzly i like i think i think he's a grizzly he someone said he was a wolverine he does remind me of a wolverine <laughs> Ooh. I think, I think that may be the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Now, we're, we're talking all these cool animals, and then we're going to jump into ourselves, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what we're doing. So the, que- okay. the personal question okay. that we had was, what animal best <laughs> describes you and your personality? And okay. I was going to ask <laughs> I was gonna ask what we thought our own animal would be, but I think it would be better if we said what each other's oh, animal I just came be. up with my own. No, no, no. <laughs> Hang on. Morning. Come up with your own, and then well, we I wanna, will. I want to start. With, how about this? We will jump in and say, ah, to me, I think you're more of a oh, this. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it that way. Because because I just came up with my. I just came up with my. There you right. go. There you perfect go. So what, what are you, Farsha? You ready? You ready? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Hyena. Because of your laugh. The laugh. I guess the laugh. <laughs> no, I don't know. He was going to go into a yeah, list. I don't know what else. I, I Did forgot you go into a list of one thing? <laughs> yeah, but no, I laugh. thought there, I, th- I had just heard some stuff about a hyena. And they're I was motherfuckers. Kinda, I was, no, 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 they, they, no, no, no. They're good dudes. They're good dudes. They're desert, desert dwellers. No, no, they're good dudes. Like, I, I heard some stuff. But but, but, good, but, but they're they're small creatures. No, they're like a dog size. They're not small. You, you're, okay. you're, you're a big you, dude. You want to know what I think you are? <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Don't, hold on. Don't, don't hold on. It. Hold on. Hold on. You go. You go. No, 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 no. You go first. You go first. What's for Gini? <laughs> what? I never what? seen him laugh like that. I, ne- I never seen him laugh like that. <laughs> What's for Gini? Are you high? <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> Your laugh is like cementing the hyena. But yeah, yeah, of course. I got you as a chimpanzee. Oh, I'll oh, tell. Oh, by the way, oh, yeah. That's, a, I, that's I, an honor, dude. That's an honor. Chimp- just because you're, you're like. <laughs> 
<laughs> you won't insult me. Just go, go, go for it. Go for it. Don't hold back. <laughs> just say it. I've never just seen say it. Hey, have you ever seen Ben? No, no, I feel so bad. <laughs> say it, say it. It sounds bad, but it's not. Go, go right into it. Go. You're you're good at hanging on to us. Like, you know, <laughs> like hanging on a limb. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the intelligence. Oh. It's like you swing in and swing out. <laughs> and just kind of, kind of like Kramer in Seinfeld. Just slide in, slide out, <laughs> swing it through the trees. Here you go. And you kind of the, the laugh. The laugh the is lap, very yeah, chimp-like yeah, yeah. as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. What just happened? Ben, and, and you're saying you're you're uh, uh, a hyena. Get the fuck no, out. Ready? I, I do a great chimpanzee. Ready? I yeah. No, that we was, just heard it. That yeah, was that's it. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry to everyone listening. I hope to the nobody's plot. walking outside. <laughs> I, what? I, I knew this was a zoo, but well, this is a full on well, zoo. Security's now. gonna. Come. Yeah, you can't have chimpanzees here, man. <laughs> oh, oh, that was great. Wow. And, and I have the and, and chimpanzees have the intelligence of a three year old or something like that. No, I, think, oh, I think okay. you're smarter yeah. than that. A nine year old. Well, yeah. Yeah. Anything under forty, that's great. Good for you. <laughs> good for you, Fergie. Thank you. That's but the, but they're ve- they're very good companions. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very good they're, companions. Yes. And, uh, Entertaining. Yep. Much stronger than they look. Much stronger than they yeah, look. Yeah, they can rip you apart. And I think slightly unstable. <laughs> Ment- mentally. Slightly. Right? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Yours yours has a lot <laughs> of depth. <laughs> what, what, what is, <laughs> that, yeah. Fergie, that you look like a like a black bear that stands up. Have you ever seen a black bear standing? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. That's, yeah. I don't know why. That's what no, that looks like. Do you remember when we were, when we went to Arizona? I was like, that's far. <laughs> there's a there's a movie, uh, uh, the, the the Madagascar movies. Okay, so there's the Madagascar movies and Madagascar one and two and then three. They get they get thrown into this uh, side circus. Um, I think group, I saw that somehow. Animals yeah, and and there's uh, there's this bear that rides a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that bear rides the when tricycle exactly the way he drives. Exactly the way he drives. We gotta, we gotta get a picture. We gotta get a picture of that. Oh yeah. We will. <laughs> you do. What animal do you think you are? Not, <laughs> what animal do you think you are? I, I think I'm a fox. Quick thinking. Uh, whenever there's a problem, I'm cunning. I'm able to fix the problem quickly, and also I have an orange beard. Oh wow, that makes a lot more sense no, than I ever expected. A, a fox is too like fragile. It's too no, a fox is not fragile at all. They're fuckers. They're 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 no. In per- perception wise, fo- fo- foxes are intense carnivores, man. I know, but they look. They, but they don't look the like. They don't. No, but th- that's because we stay. We stand back. We have we have increased awareness, and we're always observing the situation so that we know when to attack and make our move. That's, <laughs> that's wow, me. this is going really in depth. Yours, again, yeah. you have a lot of depth to yours. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be I, very disappointed when you hear mine about you. I, uh, go for it. Go for it. No, no, no. Fargini, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> and, okay. So, okay. You go. <laughs> okay. You go ahead. I, I see you as an elephant. Now, hear me oh, out. Okay. Hear me out. I like First elephants. of all, they have tremendous memory. It's my son's favorite animal. They, so I they, have, they, have tremendous, they, they smell you one time. One time, they'll remember you for the rest of your life from your smell. So you oh, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. You elephants have great memory. You have great, great memory. memory. Yeah. yeah. You're the strongest human being I've ever I've ever encountered. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I've ever encountered. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and and you're caring. You're kind. I, what else? Like, for for just, those reasons, I have another answer. I really appreciate. It. I, I I like of that. Course. One. I like that. One. Of course. I I think you're that orange baboon. <laughs> the orangutan. <laughs> what? I don't know which one it is. Wait, the what, one, the one orange baboon. <laughs> It's an orange it's a, baboon that has like a... a no, it's the orangutan. Is that an orangutan? Right? Yeah. yeah. Because Why? St- <laughs> Actually, you know what? You know what? <laughs> right? <laughs> because you're strong, Strong, powerful, intelligent. 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 This, this one. This one's one you're talking about, right? That, that's it. <laughs> yeah, there you that's go. That's it. An orangutan. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, that's, that's way better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that's a, that's almost a one-to-one. I, super I smart. I think it's right. Super I, smart. Super strong. Orange. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I like all of these. I like all of these. It does go really these, well. these are all represented well in the jungle book. Right? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I like I like orangutan. I like all of the by the way, I like all of the animals I've mentioned today. Nice. I nice, haven't nice. said like a single animal. If I was like, oh, you kind of look like a like a cricket <laughs> there, or a there, snake. There hasn't I'd been be any like, insult. Oh. There hasn't been any insulting no, no, uh, animals. No, no. But, well, well, but hey, that's because hey. we haven't got to Yeah, Alejandro we haven't got yet. to you. <laughs> Here we go. Let's <laughs> Here we go. You guys are <laughs> fucking pieces of shit. Um I, I, mine is simple because my wife pointing it, uh, pointed it out, and I think she's right. I think uh, Tata and I have a lot in common. I, my my pick would be a squirrel. I'm messy. <laughs> yeah. I make a lot of piles. Uh, I'm a disaster in real life. I like to play and just fuck around all day. Yeah, yeah. 
and not do any work and just not sit still. I I I don't know. It it does it does make sense. Yeah, yeah. And somehow I do a lot I, of I kinda, squirreling. I kind of have a very similar one to you. What do you uh, got? Do you remember the movie Lion King? Of course. You remind me of Timon the meerkat. Yeah. I, you remind I, me of a meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> It also works with a squirrel because she which, does that. Which 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 meerkats and I I think represent you know very you know witty playfulness uh, also attentive. Uh, they take care of their pack because you know each meerkat like they they stand guard of of their tribe or village of meerkats and somebody's always looking over them and paying attention to them and taking care of them and and you do that with us and like, I appreciate that. Thank um, you. Although oh. although an elephant could come in and like stop on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm quite aware of it. I'm but we, have an, we have an orangutan yep. that can that can, that can or a black bear. Or black bear. Yeah, by the way, you're set, dude. Your 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 security <laughs> team, your your animal security team is fucking. We're, we're all set, standing. Dude. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I see you. What, what, you oh my this? god, you yes. A ring, Thank you. A ring tail lemur. I was gonna say lemur. <laughs> that was my other one. Show, show what, what a ring tail lemur is. Fuck is a yeah. Oh, you're gonna love. Here we go, guys. That's a good. Here we go. Oh, there it, it looks is! Just like a meerkat. Oh yeah, I completely, <laughs> I absolutely agree. I, it's like also from Madagascar, <laughs> the ringtail lemur. Is, oh, that's the dude, king. Yeah. The, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, and uh, he's what's got his name? Bor- Borat's voice, no, right? No, 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 no. I love that Julius. I love Julius. He's my number Julius one or, or Julian. Julian or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I completely agree with you guys. I, I don't know why. Look, those little so here's animals the thing. do so remind me a lot of myself. This is early man. This is like. The, 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 we we have we have like <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's of L. course Astro. yeah that's it that's a one to one <laughs> and his voice like you can do his king voice Julian. the yeah, king there julian you <laughs> there you go there you go that that I, and i'm one. sorry the animal we're picking for you is not a physically imposing animal yeah. but we're, we're going more for your intelligence and your I, I, wit I, I, and your it, it's it, more it's funny that all the animals that we picked were small creatures <laughs> 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 I'm also like, and we're like a bear and for, a, for everyone listening, I'm almost six feet tall. <laughs> yeah. By the way, guys, I told Alejandro next time someone says how tall you are, he has to say, "Oh, I'm almost six foot." Tall. But I really am. I'm five eleven. <laughs> I'm almost yeah. six feet tall. You know what I would love like, to do? These motherfuckers have Alejandro. destroyed my reputation. I want to do a real scientific measurement of you. Like if it's if it's five eleven point three. Like I want to know the real like scientific, like how close. Hang on. Like, scientific measure? Do you mean just yeah. the measure? No, no. But I want to get like real accurate. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Shall we talk now, about cars? Now, shall we do I, this I, all I, over? I'm, honestly, I've been enjoying this <laughs> yes, this talk now. Me do we want to talk more about animals? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, what do we think? Uh, the type of animal, Mr. JWW. Not we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. JWW. I see him as a if jaguar. He, hey, if he was listening, Ooh, to this, that is a like, good one. A jaguar. Yeah, a jaguar. Right. J- jaguar. 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 There you go. That's the right way of saying jaguar. Jaguar. All right. Okay, but all right, we're, not, we we're not going to get to everyone else in the automotive community today. We'll leave that as a mystery <laughs> to everyone. Me? I'm uh, kidding. I'm talking, <laughs> what, what do you got there? We'll leave that as a mystery to everyone. And also speaking of mysteries, what do you guys think about the mystery Lamborghini that was spotted in the wild? What? Okay. So you want to give us some context, okay. Pedro? So, so there were some spy shots that recently came up that uh, it, it, it looked to be an Aventador spotted in the wild with, with camo wrap and everything on it. Uh, but it had a lot of hurricane styling and details with it. As far hurricane. as like, the, a hurricane, what, a hurricane. What, what did I say? Yeah, did yeah, I say yeah. hurricane? Yeah, yeah. Did I, I really say I, that. I actually can't pronounce wow. hurricane, so I'm just gonna stay away from it. Wow, <laughs> Jesus. Huracan. Okay. Huracan. So, Huracan. Thunder. Huracan. So okay. <laughs> there was an uh, there was an Aventador styled body that had had very hurricane. Uh, stylings to it with the tailpipes and the way that the the back of the it back was, sits, yeah. and and it got people thinking: Is this is this going to be a new Aventador? And personally, I don't think so. I think that this is going to be a successor to the Aventador line because I don't think I don't think that they're going to continue with it beyond the Aventador S. I think that that's the final hurrah for that. I, I, I yes, I agree with you. Are you done with that? Uh, I'm, do- I'm uh, done with that. What do you think it is? I I'm hoping I'm hoping it's a sub Uracan model. I'm hoping they can't make an Aventador sub work. Why not? Why not? That doesn't make sense. Why not? Because they don't even put uh, scissor doors on the Huracan so that you don't go and buy a cheaper car. I, I, the Aventador right now became a little bit irrelevant ish with the Huracan Performante. It's so good. And the Huracan is a really good car. Yeah. A really, yeah. really good car. Yeah. 
So if you put those scissor doors, which by the way, Lamborghini should. McLaren does it in all of his cars. I don't think they it's because we thought about we, we talked about this, right? You don't want to give away the the secret the secret sauce. Not the secret sauce, but like the, the I know, main but, entree. But, but I think if you make the car good enough, if you make the event the door a special a special car, yeah. You can throw those scissor doors on the performante or or, or the huracan. Again, also, do McLaren you, does that. But why the, not? What I'm gonna say is do you do you want the scissor doors like do you want that to be like your secret sauce that only the elite of your brand can get? No, yeah, it's I, th retarded. I think I think that that should be like an identifier for every single one of your cars. It's like when you see that, that's a Lamborghini. So you're hoping for <clears throat> a lower tier like, work on like car? A, like a hundred grand. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. no. Oh, hell. H homie, homie, homie. The parts are there. <laughs> The parts are there. The parts are there. But, so, but there's a one in a million chance that that's going to happen. Okay, 150. Nah, the Huracan's doing. The Huracan it's is doing so well, yeah. but they could do so much better. No, 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 no. Actually, you don't want the. Pro you're right. You don't want the production numbers up. You don't want to. Okay. No, you 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 want you want to go take over that Aventador market again. That's the one that's hurting because it wasn't putting the performance numbers up that I the got, Huracan got, got, was, got, so got. it didn't make sense. But if you can take the spirit of the Huracan and putting put it in an Aventador and get those performance numbers, game That's over. That's a great way to put it. Which That's is what, great way to which put is, it. Which is what the so. Aventador S is supposed to be, by the way. Wait, but what if it, this is an Aventador Performante? Because a lot of people are saying this so, might be the most extreme like send-off. No. They, they, normally, if you just follow every single line from Lamborghini that they've done, they do the SV. The SV is the final special edition. I think the Aventador S is just like the, the final, last, let's final. get rid of the chassis that we got or whatever we got <laughs> on the yeah. line. And, yeah. and you know, Back in the day, the Lamborghini lineup, the big dudes lineup for each car used to be like a 10-year rotation, 8 to 10-year rotation. Yeah, correct. You can't afford to do that anymore. No. In today's day and age, with all the new cars coming out and so fast and so, like, not the cars that are so fast, but <clears throat> they're coming so fast yeah. uh, uh, into the market out of nowhere, you can't, you can't compete anymore yeah. having a platform for 10 years. The first <laughs> Aventador came out in 2012. Ooh, I, I that's that puts it already at 2017 five years out so that means that's if the car is two years out which is even a seven year run on the aventador this has to be the new prototype unless lamborghini is retarded which but they've been picking it up i don't think they are i think uh they're they're getting a hold of their market i i just i i if it is something new I'm a little disappointed. That it's not going it, to look anything like that. You know that they just put the That's just the mule. That's just the mule. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. But two years ago, when we were talking about these type of things, you know, obviously there wasn't a podcast then. It, it, it was the oh, let's just uh, let's just re, you know put another body kit on a on an Aventador. Like that, that's just all that kept saying. But I think they're done with that. I, I think they put all of the body kits in all Sorry. of the Aventadors already, and they're There's sold no out. There's no more body kits. There's no more body kits at <laughs> the factory. It, that's it. The 50th anniversary. By the way, who wants a 50th anniversary Aventador? 50th anniversary yeah. of what? <laughs> Hopefully they're, I, hope, I hope that they're done with that. I hope that they're done with the anniversary editions it and all It seems like that it's stuff. cooled like, off, right? It does after the Muir edition. Actually, I think after that up. roast on the Muir edition, <laughs> yeah, they were, they were like, like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, we're out of here. No, no, no more editions. You, you, you know, when you just step the line, just one little, they just stepped the line a little bit on that one. And well, uh, come on, the Pirelli edition, <laughs> the fucking Muir edition. <laughs> did it stop after the Vino Tinto it edition? It really did. Like yeah, after we did that the was video, it. <laughs> that was it. I, I think that was it. And then they really came out with the SV. But, and then they really came out with the Aventador S. They but haven't done like We're a not going to do any more editions or Alejandro is going to keep making track <laughs> and yeah. making money off of our editions. L Lamborghini does hate that. Yeah. Does hate that uh, we're profiting from, not from them actually, just like inspired in colors and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lamborghini. Uh, uh, I enjoy it. I, I'm excited about the new car coming out every single time. So I want to do, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to kidnap this subject right no, now. Go for it. Go for it. I always get very excited when Lamborghini's dropping their big line because that's the first car that I ever saw that said, wow, whenever I get some money, I'm going to buy that car after seeing Dumb and, watching Dumb and Dumber, right? When right. I was a kid. Yep. So that was, that was the, the goal in life. Then you see the, the evolution of it from the Diablo to the Mercy to the Aventador. Very exciting. And the big car, the cool thing about the Aventador is that it's a big GT. It was not supposed to be a great car. Yeah. I, it's, it's like a great GT without being a great GT because it's super uncomfortable. Right. Right? So there, what's the function, like, what's the purpose of an Aventador on the market? Uh, to roll up to the club, open the doors, and get out. That's it. You, do you agree? <laughs> I, no, no, no. I totally agree. I'm dead serious. Yeah, 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 There's yeah. nothing else. Until today, when we can actually make these cars really fucking good, 
there's an actual place for the car. Like the Ferrari A A12, super fast. Yeah. Is Lamborghini really going to let Ferrari with a fucking sleazy ass fucking boring as shit, which mind you, I still love the fuck out of the F12, the A12, just looking at it. Yeah. Are you going to just let Lamborg uh, Ferrari take that space? Or are you just going to come over and make the greatest GT that looks so insane design-wise, that yeah. sounds incredible? Are you going to be Lamborghini? <clears throat> because that would completely just eliminate Ferrari from the map. That's it. Yeah. The, the, the A12 is the only car from that platform that I'm interested in. And if Lamborghini just gets it right with the Aventador, I'll never look back at that car. Never. Like, yeah. never in my life. Are you, are you saying with the Aventador, are you saying with whatever the next one is going to be or with this current one? No, no, no. The next one that's coming whatever out. This, one, one's, this one's already too stiff. We're like, done. within We're everything, done. even though they adjusted it and they said that it's much better now, especially with the understeer because yeah. it has rear wheel steering. I don't give a shit about this platform. I think yeah. the new one is going to have yeah, to be the... You, you guys got to make it a long cruiser. No one takes these Aventadors through the track. No one. They're pointless right. on the track. Just just make it a cruise. But, but, if, and they also, can, but they, if they can make it perform on the but track. Now, but now they can. There's yeah. that technology available. Yeah. McLaren is the living proof of it, right? <clears throat> you can get in the 720s, yeah. which is comfortable. You guys got to copy the 720s mo model. A super comfortable car that whenever you put it in the ultimate just turns into crazy, an animal. it turns into an animal. If Lamborghini yeah. does that, that's it. They're done. Yeah. They're taking over which that space. they have well, I, capability to I do. I mean, <laughs> more than likely, we will see this car in Geneva this coming year. When is Geneva? March, March or February. Yeah, it would be the first week of March this coming year. Yeah. More than likely we're going to see it there. More than likely a couple months later we're going to we're going to hear news about how it broke the GT2 RS's record on the No, no, no it can't. It can't. <laughs> I don't think physically it's possible. Lamborghini just let it be. <laughs> hey, hey man, it's it's funny that the the record was broken now all of a sudden Lamborghini has another car coming out. It, it, poor Lamborghini. Their, the record lasted like two weeks. <laughs> no. And then Porsche's like, all right, all right, here we are again. I, know, I felt really bad. One of my friends is a uh, is a big time editor in the car world. And he's like a legend in like what I, what I aspire to be whenever I edit videos. Like he's so freaking good. But he edited one of the record videos of the Huracan Performante. Oh, uh, like one of the epic ones, and it didn't get to make it make its rounds because the record didn't last oh, at all as, yeah. as long. Yeah, 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 they got creamed by that Porsche dude. Porsche, yeah, it was poor Lamborghini. So, so Performante had the had the, the yeah. The, remember the they took it? He oh, took it over right. the nine eighteen yeah, 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 for like yeah, yeah. two weeks, and then the oh, GT2 right. came out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but at the end of the day, it was by the same. way, it was longer than it, two weeks. It was but, longer than two weeks, but yeah. I'm just exactly. And by the way, at the end of the day, the shareholders of VW will profit from both either from both brands, so we're good. Well. Oh, hang on, they'll, hang on, they'll hang get on. number one, number two, number number three spot. What about Dieselgate? Diesel Go on, Pedro. Moving on. <laughs> uh, moving on, but we're still going to stay in Lamborghini and VW News uh, because this week we saw uh, some more spy shots of the Urus interior. What do, oh, we, what do we think? What do we think? I've reserved my opinion already on this. Do you, uh, what, what is your opinion? <laughs> okay, so my opinion is they took a bunch of parts out of the Huracan Stuck them inside a Cayenne. Didn't even bother bother like molding it in there correctly. Just smacked it on there, and now you have an interior on an Urus. I hate it. it, it I hate it. It is a Huracan interior, no question about it. It even has like the Performante, you know, the beautiful <laughs> carbon uh, air yep. vents and all of that. But I don't think they're carbon on that. It looks like it's just smacked on there. Does man. that bother you? Uh, it's part of, of the line, right? Gentlemen. Like you, it gotta look. It's gotta look like that, gentlemen. What did you expect? Anything else? No, that's Why what I think expected. The price is two hundred thousand dollars. <sighs> that's exactly Guys, what this I. This is expected. the formula. This is the formula. Yeah, Bentega. They, they that was the first experiment. They're like, ooh, okay, maybe that's not the way to go. Let's put the performance in there and bring a low price in the interior. Eh, eh, done. I mean, when I looked at it, I was like, is that a Q something or is that yeah, like yeah. A it, the, Panamera? It's it, it does. They need to show us now that the interior leaked. I think Lamborghini. Well, aren't they going to reveal the car in a week? December fourth. <laughs> yeah. December fourth. Uh, December fourth. I know what you think. Too late for any changes. It's too late. For no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> too late. There, there, there can't be any changes. Here's my suggestion for Lamborghini. If you guys have a rad color combination for uh, to show the the car for the first time when you guys do the unveil, rather than a white or a black, and you guys can do a crazy color, something really special, that's going to bring the value up. Because right now, if you just look at it on a black, a black, black yeah. it looks so cheap. I'm, I'm sure well, there's going to be... Uh, okay, so we know that we know that Nick from McLaren Newport, they bought a LM002 that is actually going to be at the unveiling. Yeah. At the factory. At the factory, yeah, in St. Agata. So... 
Santagata. Santagata, whatever. <laughs> By the way, as he said it, I was like, wow, very nice. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Very good. Wow. Uh, so the, he, he, their LMOO2 is going to be part of the unveiling. We can find out from Nick what color his is because more than likely they'll somehow, they'll somehow make it the same as what's going on with the unveiling. How many color. calls is Nick going to get after this comes out? <laughs> He's gonna, hey, Nick, yeah. well, what color is the, the, the car? <laughs> don't, don't call Nick. Don't call Nick. Don't call Nick. Please don't. <laughs> these, these, this VW group part spin stuff, like, it, it, and the other thing is, like, you have to realize they're built. I love them. It's built in a certain way that they're all going to feel the same way. They're all going to, like, they can't, get, they can't get around that. Because the interior, you know, the way that certain things are, like, it looks like a, it's a Panamera interior, by the way. If you look at the. Ab- if you, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, this is, so this is what I want to tell you guys. Who's going to buy this Urus? Some moms are going to buy it. Do we agree, right? Yeah. But sh- small people. <laughs> small, but I, I think the new customers into Lamborghini that are going to buy this car aren't going to know what, like, they're going to they're gonna be okay with it. They're not going to know that. They- no, no, because also this is the entry to that world for those people. You're buying finally a Lamborghini that, you know, the wifey can take no problem all day, and, and, every day, or anyone else can come in and buy an SUV and say, no more excuses, I can get myself the car. Yes. That have never experienced yes. a supercar before. Yeah. Or they've seen it in magazines. This is going to look incredible because all the old, older cars didn't have any GPS, any, like, cl- like their yeah. cluster was shit. Yeah. The leather was shit. Yeah. Like, car, car manufacturers got, got away with giving a shit in supercars forever because... Yeah. Because no one knew. It was about the performance. Yeah, no one. Yeah, no one knew. Yeah, no one knew. Now we all know. Now we're all there, and they're they're going to be like, oh, this has a touch screen and this. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. By Done, the way, can, right? Can, can we can we finally just like all agree that this is really going to be a small SUV? No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Yet. I'm not. No, no, no. Can, I'm not can, doing. Can it. We, no. Can, can we I, just agree? No, no. no. I, <sighs> can, can I ask a favor from the followers yeah. and fans? Anyone has the forensic skills to take a prototype and maybe like. The background, do the measurements, and tell us like how big it is. No, no, no. Here's, here's just wait what ten days. Just no, I need to no, know now. I need no, to com- know now. Compare it to compare it to what it looks like uh, to the Cayenne that was just unveiled in China. No, no, no. I want an. Affi- I want a. It's going to be forensic- smaller than a Cayenne. No, impossible. Smaller than a Cayenne. No, it's no, going to no. happen. Oh. You're letting those. You're letting the uh, the camo on the car fool your eyes. No, no, no. <laughs> I, and, 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 and on top of that, I, and on top of that, I think that we can we can also agree that. What Nick was telling us about how it's going to be big and imposing, like yeah. the LMO02. Yeah. That's completely false. <laughs> uh, I don't what, know. What, 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 how do you know? The car that they saw at the factory <laughs> is not the car that they were looking at. We we got. We just have to see it in person. I'm done like yeah, you're making right, you're assumptions. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm done making assumptions on like, so, oh. Because then I, I'm so becoming, we're going to Italy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Ten days. Ten days we'll know. Ten days we'll know. And then the, and there'll be like proper media. Why can't someone just let us know? Just let us know. It's a lot of drama, man. I know. It's a lot of drama. Just give me the measurement. Just tell me how long it is. That's all but, I want to know. By the way, it's, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Boom. It's Thank speak, you. Speaking of drama, we're always dealing with drama. It seems like it's drama after drama after drama around here. And today What is this now? T- today I wanna I wanna go on record and I wanna I wanna apologize about the John Olson video. The about leave John Olson leave me alone. I really wanna apologize about that. At, Why? Because is it, mainly because people were getting really upset about about it. I you think know, they just the, didn't the, watch the, the, the video. On, the, the Rhino and the 4x4 square, but I want to apologize because there's actually a bigger and meaner truck that I want to include in the competition. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> there you go. I know which one you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, so I want, Great to talk, transition. Yeah, I want to talk Great about, transition. I want to talk about a truck that was unveiled in Dubai at the Dubai Auto Show. Before you do that and name it, let me just say, by the way, everyone listening who did, doesn't know what the hell with John Olsen, we just used him. Uh, uh, he always like puts out cars. Just like like he buys whatever car I have, and I'm not saying he's copying me. He just buys whatever car is cool out there. A coincidence. Uh, coincidence. Yeah. Absolute coincidence. And then he makes it epic, and everyone's like, oh, you're a fucking pussy, Alejandro. Why don't <laughs> yeah, you yeah. get a car like John Olsen? They're like, what? Well, what and the latest, for me? And the latest one is the, his 4x4 so, four four square, which is like the insane. ultimate. You, you, insane you, you guys yeah. remember the old uh, uh, Jeep Wrangler, like, catalogs that they would send out yes. that has every accessory in <laughs> it's it. That. Yeah. He would basically take the magazine and do some <laughs> magic and throw <laughs> it at the car and boom, all the accessories are on the car. <laughs> and it's amazing. And yeah. it looks incredible. And now I got everyone telling me that my G-Wagon is shit. And yeah. the worst part is he actually goes off-road, extreme off-road. He does, yeah. <laughs> he's the, he's, he does. Do you agree he's the only guy? That yeah, he, de- he definitely uses the yeah. car properly. Yeah. Yeah. So Absolutely. it was all a joke, by the way, guys, in case you didn't catch that just by reading a title <laughs> and not watching the yeah. video. And, and That's that, called... That, that was probably the epitome of clickbait. That's the epitome of 
yeah, fake that's, news. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the clickbait that people don't like. But you know what? I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. And we exactly. Always, and we always go so, around. anyways, tell us about this. So, getting to getting to the truck. car. So, there was this this massive car uh, created by uh, Devil Auto Group, which is based in Dubai, and they they released it, and it's called the Devil Sixty. It's a concept. It's a six by six that basically looks like somebody knocked out Darth Vader, laid him on his belly, and put him on six wheels. Like the 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 imposition that this car has is insane. It is um, on top of that. I, I think what they what Shmi was saying because Shmi obviously was there and got to review the car, and nobody else has at this point. He even took it uh, home <laughs> a couple of days. <laughs> but but the car, like it, it literally looks like a tank. It, it makes the Rhino and the four by four square look. Like it's it's I agree it's with you utterly on this useless. One. Yep. But it's a six point seven liter turbo diesel V eight that's pulling seven hundred twenty horsepower. Which, by the way, the number sounds incredibly low compared to what the size of this vehicle is. I was going to so say. I, I think that that number is actually going to change when they go from concept to reality. But, if they're but able what's to the, go. <laughs> but what's the torque? When if they they're, go, no, no, get but out what's of the, here. Does, does it tell you the torque? Because I think uh, that's uh, where uh, they're going to a, a thousand newton meters. There you go. Oh, I don't know the newton meters. So, so I think that I don't that's, know the torque. I think that that's like seven seventy. So, yeah, yeah, I actually exactly. don't know. Um, 70, ooh, that, that is kind of it's, it's, lower. It's, it's, lower it's, it's, it's weak compared. Did you see the car? I showed it to you. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so the car has custom suspension so that you could you can go up and down and you know navigate your way through like overheads and and you know kind of make your way through clearance and low overhangs. Um, but it the, what, the what, where are you traveling with this? Thing? <laughs> you need low overhangs and that's hey, what I'm saying. Like, like, anyone's like, gonna it use looks it like, like Batman that. would drive this and he <laughs> needs like, to go into his cave. Low. You know what I mean? <laughs> Excuse me. Does this car have low overhangs? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but the, the, there's one feature about this car that I really like. It has a private jet style entryway to it. Like, like you know, like a private jet, the door opens and then everybody walks up into the car. The, it has that, that type of entryway. Do you have a, do you have a that is bull Let me now, pull, let me pull it that out. That is bull amazing. That's, I'll pull one up. By the way, <laughs> you love gimmicks like I do, right? Oh, can, of course. Give me gimmicks. That's who all I want. Who doesn't love gimmicks? <laughs> this is why they're gimmicks. Like... Like, if my next car, the door was, like, this whole theatrical thing to get in. I'd be like, I'm in. Have you noticed a big trend? Everyone, back in the day, everyone was doing only supercar concepts. Right now, yeah. the most concepts and coolest ones that we see are SUVs. And trucks. So, so like truck, yeah, trucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what happens is this this hatch right here lifts up, and then there's some stairs that come That's, down. That is really cool looking. I, I got to be honest, guys. Anyone here in the States, we have the cars. We can build these, like, out of out of Fords, out of like any of those trucks. You know what I mean? Like we should be doing these. Not Can we, can we start by making a, the four by four squared with those doors? Leave me alone with my four by four squared. <laughs> I know. You John Olsen would do it. John Olsen would do it. <laughs> yeah. He would do that. He would totally see, do that. See, John Olsen would see, do that. Now you're like everyone else. <laughs> now you're like everyone else. By the way, I, I love that the, the concept car that they brought here for this is black and gold. It's what the, what they brought to the Middle East like was that black four and gold. by like that four by four that we saw at Vicks. <laughs> a black like, and gold. No, that is super cool. That is really cool looking. I I, I wish and I hope they make it a reality. Yeah. I have little faith in them. They're the people with a five thousand horsepower car, which which instantly... that's actually what I wanted to talk about next. Oh yeah, I, I actually while you're bringing it up, they have a, a another car called the Devil Sixteen. They've been talking about it for quite some time. It's a quad turbo twelve point three liter V six. Well, hold on. Hold on, hold on. 12.4 liter? 12.3 liter V16 quad turbo engine. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. okay. And on a V. And they have and they and they have three versions of it, by the way. Three versions of the car. There's there's a Good. Uh, entry Thank God. there's an entry level version of it for 1.6 million. That's fifteen hundred horsepower in case you, you're conservative. So by the, your as horsepower. of right now, hold on. As of right now, that, that it's possible. Okay. Possible. Okay. Then the, and, and by the way, that's a road legal version, and they have another road legal possible, version for one point eight million. So only two hundred thousand dollars more, you can get three twice as much horsepower, three thousand horsepower. And they say that that car is going to go in excess of three hundred twenty miles an hour. Good, uh, good. Uh, and then, I, does Fisker I, run this company? No, does, does Fisker I'm, run I, this I'm company? I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh, oh, wow. they, they have, they have okay. one. They have one other model. Great question. Um, that is right. five thousand horsepower. They don't have a price on it yet. Uh, but that one's specifically for drag races. It's not street legal, okay? So that one's only for drag races. Why are we drag racing a tank? If you have 5,000 horsepower... Oh, no, no, no. This is this is not the tank. This is the Devil 16. No, oh, that is a sports car. It. Oh, God, it's I a sports it. car that's the size of an SUV 
that swallowed another SUV with a huge uh, wing. But, but they eliminated the wing. Honestly, the car looks incredible. Yes. The back, that's look at the back. Look at the back. That's what I was going to ask. That's, what, what do you think about the design? I love One of the most gorgeous the cars I've ever if seen. If these guys just get real with their specs, real. Just a little real. Here's the problem, Andre. And also that, you can't drive that on the street. Here's the problem. You can't have 3,000 horsepower. You can't have 5,000 horsepower. But the longevity of that, the durability of that is ridiculous. I mean, ask Mercedes. They're telling you, you got to completely redo the engine on the the Project One. Yeah. Every 29,000 miles, 27,000 miles, 33,000 miles. It's 30,000 miles. That's right. There you go. That's right. Get the fuck. This is impossible. So everyone watching this, also look at the car. You can't drive it on the street. Uh, where like there's a lot of things missing I, here. I hate, I love, and I hate this because it really wants like it really makes me want to get something like this, and I and and I hate it because I know they're never gonna do it, and I hate it also because then you have people that are like, bet you that's the fastest car in the world, like those <laughs> those experts those experts online. You know what I mean? Uh, but this this car, man, like it, it, I, you're seeing this. You're you, we're looking yes, at the interior the, pictures right now the, for you the guys interior, listening. The interior of the car is a joke. It is is bad. It, it because looks it because looks all like the money all the money went to the horse. Yeah, it looks like no. something that you would see in Space Mountain, like in the early early nineties. All the money went into paying, like finding the guy who would come up with the most ridiculous <laughs> specs, <laughs> and then they went like, "Hey, man, sir, can we pay his fee of one hundred twenty thousand dollars?" And he's like, "Of course, let me come up with the craziest specs of a car." You ready? Here you go, three thousand four hundred twenty three horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, we need more. And they kept going to other and other people until someone was like, 5,000 horsepower maybe? Yes, we love it. Can we get one of these Saudi princes to buy a couple of these so we can see on the road, please? Well, they're, 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 saying, they're saying that they're going to have a working model in 12, in, in 12 to 14 months. <laughs> So, so the the clock is ticking. Hang on, what's the what's a working model? What's a, anything with a remote control can move that car? Get the fuck out of here! Uh, I want to be specific here. Are they going to have a car that works I on think, the street I, with at least fifteen hundred horsepower? I think it has it, it has it, ha, it has to be fifteen hundred. It has horsepower. to be all of those things. It has to be one of these cars that they, that they're describing. The, um, you know, a three hundred mile an hour, fifteen hundred, three thousand horsepower, whatever road legal working car. It has it has. Guys, to be we one need of those. full disclosure here. Okay. Is Fisker the CEO of this company? <laughs> oh, not, not even the Just CEO. Hold on, hold truth. on. Is he on? Is he like is he a consultant? consultant? Yeah, because yeah, that, that, that's his, that's what. It, hey, it, it, you know what? They went to everyone in the Middle East with the specs, and the guy who ended up getting the big check for the specs was Fisker because he had the biggest specs. It, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're if you're gonna get like the biggest craziest specs that will never come true, who are you gonna call? Are you gonna call Elon Musk? No. no, no. Are you gonna call Matte Rimac? No. no. Are you gonna call Porsche? No. Who are you gonna call? Fisker. By the way, so they, they put three proposals out there, right? Fisker being one of them. And they're like, give us the specs back. And, and Fisker had the... And Fisker had it. 1,500, 3,000, 5,000. Everyone else was like, 800 horsepower. Everyone, everyone was going with real Here's numbers. Here's what I'm, like upset crazy. About. I'm upset about this. I want people to start sending us those proposals so that we so that we can come up with the specs. We'd come up with the greatest. We would have the best specs. I could easily go... I, I mean, I can't just give it away, but I could easily go over 7,000 horsepower. Fuck it. I'll tell you right now. Uh, mine was at no, 8,500. Don't, don't even say that. Mine was don't at 8,500. You know I, what? I... I I, I, I would have easily just done 6,900 horsepower. I, I think it would have been a better sell for the community. It is a better sell in the community. Yeah. So, the way, in the, do you agree we're in the world of the cheapest horsepower that has let, ever, let, that has on, ever hang existed? Hang on a second. It's, Let's do this. Who can come up on, on if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave it in the comments down below. If you're on salamandry.com, uh, make sure to share it with us on the post. Leave us what are the craziest specs on a car that you could come up with? That yes. kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So in the way that these guys did it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like something, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like that the, relayed, like the, the range, the horsepower, and you torque. have to explain why it makes sense. Yeah. And the best one gets a hat. Fuck it. And give us nice. give us the name of the car too. I want to hear what the name I'm of the curious, car would yeah. be as well. Yeah. Like be- you can't have specs without a name of a car. <laughs> because yeah. we're gonna have a press conference soon uh, at the LA Auto Show. <laughs> yes. We're we're yeah. gonna be throwing a press conference at the first, LA Auto Show. First it's gonna be my first official first official press conference. Oh yeah. I actually have done a press conference before too. Wow. Excuse me. Is this your first? Yeah, wow. Yeah. No, is this your first? Yeah, no, pardon no, no. me. I've never done a... <laughs> but it's, it's never been about me. It's always about someone else or okay. something. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so a representative of a company. This, is, this okay. is the first time someone made the huge mistake of letting us put together a press conference <laughs> okay. at the LA Auto Show. And we could unveil the car potentially there. Yeah, actually, yeah. Actually, what, what else do you need? Yep, 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 yep. And all we do, oh, you know what would be even funnier? If we bring a car 
we cover it and we just don't unveil it. We just, <laughs> we just start hey, hey, and, and we, like real sharp we point. We hey, no, real no, sharp no. point. Yes, hey. yes, yeah. because all uh, come on, every single person that's listening to this, that's coming to, uh, if you guys are coming to meet us and uh, for us to see you, we'd love to. By the way, uh, if you guys are coming, then you're getting the joke. You know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, that would be and really then, funny and, to like have a frame underneath a thing. But you all have to play along, though. If you guys are coming, we're (laughs) all getting, like, and you all should be super impressed and take a lot of pictures when that happens. (laughs) Okay? Like, like everyone should be like, whoa, and clap like a Ah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The the frame should be, like, real, like, big wings and then a bubble top. Like, you just you just see the silhouette. (laughs) Like, like it's a bubble. It's ridiculous. It's a bubble top with, like, (laughs) I got the perfect car. I got the perfect car. Galpin already has it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. All right. About. And then we put, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what we're doing. So if you guys are listening, please don't spoil it. Just keep it to yourselves and to your friends. And uh, when we show up there, just play along. Okay. So we're going to be unveiling our brand new car. <laughs> bringing this all back together. <laughs> <laughs> bringing this all back together. This we co- just, this, I'm sorry. We just get inspired to create I, I know, a new yeah, car. Go go ahead, we, go got, we got it. But I'm I just want to, I want to bring this back to on, on, on topic and, and make sure that we're hitting our <laughs> target so, so that we can get you to boxing on time. Uh, <laughs> Too late already. So all of this crazy horsepower, everything that they're throwing at the wall with with this car, like internal combustion engines, like is this Yeah, why are they why, why are yeah, they why are they spending yeah. so much money and time and, and it's called I'm a dumbass. That's it. It's called I am a dumbass. It's like legitimately building something better to Find more oil. It, 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 no, I, no, no. It's like VHS is out, and and you're uh, investing in beta. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you're like, I'm yeah. going all in that's on beta. No, no, no. The MP4s are out, and right now you're legitimately bringing the most beautiful Betamax machine <laughs> yeah. you've or, ever seen. Or the iPads yeah. out, and you're putting all your money on the Zune. That's like, that, <laughs> and I had one, I had one exactly. of those. You had a Zune. Oh, it's really <laughs> embarrassing. I did, but it's exactly that, right? Yeah, that's 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 the frustration because this week we saw Tesla unveil Oof. some of the most remarkable things that I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with, with one first, and, that, and that's the Tesla semi-truck. Oh, <laughs> I, I <laughs> even want one of those. I, I can't wait you know to what? one. First you know what? All, I'm going to put a reservation for a semi-truck and see what people do. Do it. <laughs> but might as well. Why not? It's hey, five grand, hold right? on. Yeah. yeah. So we'll you, can put a, you, you can do a reservation for, uh, for a Tesla semi-truck for five grand. Five grand. Will the semi fit is here? it refundable? I don't know. Because it'll know. be just funny to post it. Like, get it, post it. Yeah, for a absolutely. Month, and, get it back. and if it, if it's really funny, it'll be worth five grand. <laughs> <laughs> but but so, so I, I want to talk about that because nobody, nobody has touched combustion engines in semi-trucks uh, or have changed the concept of combustion engines in semi-trucks. In China, they're trying to do that. In China, they're saying that they're going electric with their public transportation. They, they want stuff. to, but yeah. no, nobody's really nobody's really touched it to the extent. But China of, does of, talk of, a lot of, about of what, it. Of what Elon has done here. Of course not. Right? And this is a huge, huge market because we in the U.S., that's where it all started with the infrastructure, the highway system, transporting from point A to point B, and and creating ways to go from east coast to west coast and get and 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 de- and deliver goods. And this is a new clean way to do it. And how clean and beautiful the design is on this truck. Do you want to throw some a, specs? It's astonishing. This car alone, or this semi truck alone, will do zero to sixty. In five seconds. I never thought I'd be excited about a semi truck. Just so that we're yeah, clear, yeah, uh, or talking about it on a podcast, yeah. or on anything in my life. Yeah, and just to be clear, this semi truck is faster than my C three hundred. Like that's absolutely that, that, that's <laughs> mind boggling. You're Abs- right. That's absolutely. crazy. I couldn't race like the next semi Tesla truck. I'm like, ah, no, no, I'm no, good. No, I'm good. And he's like, come on, let's go, let's go. I'm like, nah. I'm <laughs> this good. truck will pull an eighty thousand pound trailer. Eighty thousand pounds, zero to sixty in twenty seconds. I, by the way, I don't have any reference, but that's that's ridiculous. Sounds amazing. It has a range of 500 miles running at highway speeds. That, that in itself is ridiculous. The mega chargers that they've designed for this can reload the truck to a 400 mile range in half an hour. How, how you so like I can me go, now? So I can go eat lunch, come back, and I'm ready to go another four. So, they, so they're gonna they're gonna start installing yep. these mega chargers at every truck stop across the country. And the best thing about it, you know what the best thing about it is, Fargini? The cabin is so huge, it's got a center driver position. Do you know that? Yeah. What? You know that? Yeah, center yeah. driver position. Like a McLaren F1. Yeah. <laughs> Elon yeah. is crazy. He's a fucking man. And the cabin is so tall, a guy that's six feet tall, six, 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 six. six can stand 
uh, inside of the cabin. So you could jump up in there. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I could raise a family in there. <laughs> now, now, you could well, hoist someone on your, on your back. <laughs> Now, 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 Elon, he, he, he posted some bold claims about the car. He, he, he said some, or about the, I keep saying car because we're so used to saying cars. Either way. So many bold claims about the truck, but the one that sticks out the most to me is that this truck is more aerodynamically efficient than a Bugatti Chiron. How? I have no, how? I, no hang, idea. Hang on a second. No like idea. Kanye, how, sweet, how? Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Farsha. Thank, Thank you. you. Let, let me just ask you this. You see that claim? Mm -hmm. If the dude's from the devil or the demon <laughs> or whatever the yeah, fuck yeah, that yeah. is said that, would you believe it? No, absolutely Would you believe not. it? No, look at that. If, Get out of here. If our good friend Fisker came up with that, that stat for, you, for his car, would you believe it? Not at all. Do you I, believe, I, I mean, do you believe I'd have Elon to wait Musk? for the third, the third, <laughs> the third press conference. The third press conference before do I you believe up. Elon Musk? Uh, so a lot of people have asked me this question, and I said this. I said, has other than production delays, which I understand we're in production, other than production delays, has he ever let you down? Nope. On the stats, on anything. Nope, has he ever laid nope, down? Nope. And the cars nope. are really, really no, fucking that's, great. That's I, it. I believe Elon has proved himself to us, and there's no more. Well, there's no more questioning. It's, it's let's so, sit back and support the guy. It's actually silly to me that people are still <clears throat> talking about this in the way they are and don't see what he's doing. What is Tesla? What do you? What do you? What do you? Mean? What is Tesla? An American, uh, an Ameri American transportation company that's going to revolutionize the. the, uh, the what is Tesla? A technology company. Tesla software. Tesla is an electronic software infrastructure for all electric things company. Yep. And the cars are a nice way of introducing all of the infrastructure yep. that they're building for themselves and yep. for everyone else. Yep. You guys know what it's going to be like to own every single gas station in the world, but electric, that's what Elon's going to be doing. Yep. You know what it's going to be like to transport everything and be on your shit? Because Elon's going to be doing that. The car is like a side thing. The, the 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 tiles on your house, the battery pack on your house. He's building the infrastructure for the for, future, yeah. and the publicity that he's bringing to the company and the yep. attention that he's getting is with the cars. Yep. And anyone who doesn't see that, he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry to all those experts that comment on this car company that's going under. No, it's not going under. Motherfuckers, Twitter hasn't made a dime yeah. in years. Who the fuck is writing their coat? This guy is changing the world. Literally. Get the fuck out of here, uh, now. I, I kind of want to just like submit to him and be like, "All right, dude, we're gonna. I'm gonna sit back. You tell me. You tell me what's next. What we're doing. You, you take care of me. I, I'm serious. I, I'm, I'm, you, I'm giving full like full support control, and control to, to Elon, dude. You got it, dude. You but got that, this. But that's that's what's so crazy about it. Is like they, they had this event down in Hawthorne at the airport uh, this week, and everyone was there because you know he had been he had been teasing the semi for quite some time because he know, he knows that this is a big pain point in Amer in American uh, industry and also global global uh global infrastructure and and this, this, was, this was this was a big big deal but the card the ace that he had up his sleeve by pulling like the whole <laughs> steve jobs move but one more thing and, Unreal. and rolling out the second generation tesla roadster i i goosebumps, goosebumps. Yeah. absolutely yeah. Like, i have him on the back of my neck i can't i i cannot believe what what he has done and the numbers and figures that he's posting he didn't just say that he's gonna do these things he actually brought a working prototype yep. right out just like fisker <laughs> wait what he wait, brought what? a working version of this car out on stage and showed what it could do several yeah, and he took people he, in rides. Yeah, he he yeah. took people in rides. They they had a whole a whole thing set up. What, sorry, specifically uh, Fisker for it. takes people for rides also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I look real quick. <laughs> it's an emotional roller coaster, is what it's called. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but so oh so God. so Elon brought out this Tesla Roadster. It's the second generation. Uh, I think the first generation they ended production on in 2011, and they promised to bring it back again in 2014, and it just. They, they changed the vision of the company and went with the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and now they're in a place that they're, that they're bringing it back. And what this car can bring and what he's promising is over 7,000 pound-feet of torque where this car can go from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, which would make it the fastest or quickest production car in the world. Period. And, and I want to point out that they're saying those are very... You read it too. very that's, numbers. That's very yeah, conservative. The, the, the test driver of the car was telling people, said, this is a very conservative number. Just out of everything that I've test drove in my life, this this is the fastest thing I've and ever been in. And he's test driven like Ferrari FXXKs you know and the, all that stuff. Those yes. are really light. Do you yes. know what the Project 1 estimated 060 is? Does anyone know? Uh, I thought it was like two They point, say two and a half. I, I thought it was 2.3, 2.4, but... Wow. They say two and a half. It's lower than okay. that. I'm sorry, let's continue. But okay. uh, the zero to 100, zero to 100 miles an hour, 
4.2 seconds. <laughs> My C300 oh. is not even at 60 yet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Quarter mile, 8.8 seconds, which beats every production car in the even world. Even the 720 is old day. You know what this means, right? If you go Eight on a second quarter mile, 8.8 seconds. If you Do you know a, what the trap speed's going to be? I have no it's idea. It's probably going to be 180. I have no idea. It's probably 180. And you know what that means, right? You, you, on, you on any drag strip, they're going to make you wear a helmet because it goes so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're, you're going to roll up yeah. from the country club to the track. Yeah. They're going to be like, no, nah, dude, you're too fast. You got to put a helmet Absolutely. on. Absolutely. S- speed. He's not confirming any number. He's just saying it'll go in excess of 250 miles an hour. 620 miles of range. Th- that hang that on, right hang, there. Hang on. 620. 620 miles of range. So, so I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring up my C300 again. I'll, if I drive efficiently, I'll get 400 miles out of a gas tank. You can drive. You can take this from L.A. to San Francisco and back to L.A. on a single charge. But I heard those 620 miles, because now a lot of people, if you look at the Fisker, he's also promising like a lot of miles and all that stuff. Hang on a second. This is actually rea- actually a reality. I believe Panasonic builds those batteries. I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. I believe Panasonic builds those batteries, and that's going to be the fucking future of all automotive everything. And <laughs> Who like, would have seen that like, coming? Like yeah. 620. Everyone's complained in all electric cars. Everyone's complained. You can only get 200 miles. Where's, where, I, where's your just, exit? Also, but, let, it, but it has to it has to be new technology and new, and new ways of making battery to, to reach 620 miles of but range. How about like this? this? How about this? There's no internal combustion engine car you can buy in America right now that will do 600 on one tank of gas. There you go. No, 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 no. Okay, so mm-hmm. and, and what else? It's a four-seater. Yeah, so it, on top of that, it's a four-seater. I... I I, unfortunately, I know that me and Fargini aren't going to be able to fit in the back seat. There's, 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 it's going to be, just no, so you know, it's, no it's a little cushion they're going to hand you. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. one of those, hey, we're going to help you <laughs> yeah, help yeah. you with your insurance payments <laughs> yeah, yeah, by putting four seats in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, another weird thing, it has a like a, a very P1 GTR style rectangular I don't think that's steering gonna, wheel. I don't think that's going to make it to the actual production I, car. I agree. I'll be, I'll be fair here. I don't think yeah. that's, that's going to be a deal breaker for anyone. And it had no airbag and stuff in it. Can I ask you some? What's the price in this thing? The price on this thing is so the the entry level version is two hundred thousand dollars. That's the base model, two hundred thousand dollars. You can go ahead and put a reservation in now by putting a fifty thousand dollar deposit. But they have a like a very high level spec Founder Series edition where it's going to be a limited run of a thousand models on that Founder Founder Series for two hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, but they're take the deposit on that right now is you actually have to pay the whole, the full price of the vehicle uh, up front. Holy okay, so number one, you're telling me that this car can do a quarter mile in eight point eight seconds, get from zero to sixty in one point nine. That's conservative. Four seats, two seater, comfortable, electric. Uh, a range. It, it's got r- a range of six hundred twenty miles, <laughs> more than any other gas car whatsoever in that yep. category. Yep. Uh, it's going to probably be able to drive itself if you feel like it. Oh, it, 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 100% it, has, it, will it has. It right? has to with, with it doing a one point nine seconds zero to sixty. You're going to black out. It needs to. <laughs> it, it needs <laughs> to have autopilot. And, and then the car catches you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the car's like, all right, we got you. Uh, you're telling me all of this comes for two hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Absolutely. How much is a Koenigsegg? I, I don't know, like one two, and a half million for a, an Agera. I, I don't I don't know I've never I've never really looked million at the prices and a half. on them yeah million and a half oh so this so so we're here we talked about who's going to be the biggest hypercar competitor in the market and we were all like oh McLaren and we said back then Tesla's going to come out of nowhere and going to wow the fucking world God well, I think we here said we it two are. weeks ago we really it was not that long ago uh, Tesla didn't just come out and wowed everyone with a fucking hypercar it's a two hundred thousand dollar car so can I ask you this yeah. this is a question what a lot of people are asking in me. the f- Fuck. What in, and a lot of people uh, texted me and said, oh, so Mate Remak is done, by the way. Remak is absolutely done. No, 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 no. Tesla is an infrastructure company, just like Remak is an, it's the same thing. It's a technology company, infrastructure in a different kind of way. He's, it's, it's a big parts bin company, and I'm just simplifying everything that they do. They're in cahoots with everyone, everyone. I, I don't know how many brands I can mention that I'm aware of, yeah. but- Pretty much fucking every major brand that you're aware of. I think Remak is the most undervalued company today in the market, just so that everyone's aware. Tesla's market is not going to overtake Remak's market. Remak is not a car maker. Remak is everything else maker, technology maker, infrastructure maker. And then they also build the cars. Yeah. And they have the ability to do exactly what these guys do. Uh, I believe, if I'm correct about this battery thing, 
they can also get it from Panasonic. It's not going to be an okay. exclusive deal from yep. Tesla. So what what here is going to happen with Mata Remak? Remak is going to continue to go in its success path, and I think soon every single car is going to have a Remak component before we look, know it, and Tesla is going to continue to reign in its own world. For its, yeah, exactly. yeah. Look, look Mate, Mate's cars is a marketing strategy to put eyes on his company to show what his, did what that his products can do. And did that work? It did. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Yep. I mean, the car is obviously his passion. He wants his, he wants his own car, but he also knows to build his company, he, ha- he has to start where, where it's needed. And the automotive industry needs what he's offering. Oh, I, we desperately so, need it. L- let me ask you this: Do you consider the Roadster a hypercar? Because I'm getting a lot of questions. People are saying, okay. "I don't think it's a hypercar." So, what makes a hypercar? It actually is a hypercar. I'm okay, sorry. So what, what makes a hypercar? A hypercar is a car that comes and revolutionizes the way we see cars, and then others have to catch up to that level of car. Bugatti Chiron is the best example. 918 LaFerrari P1 are the best examples. Right now, the Valkyrie, the, the next wave, the Valkyrie, the Project One, and the BP23 are the next wave. Look, what's what's this is this it's, is it's, that it's, next it's, wave? It's a change in industry. We're we're seeing a giant a giant wave of change coming, and and it's and it's going to come in the form of Tesla saying, you know what, making a fast car doesn't or having a fast car doesn't need to be expensive it doesn't you don't need to spend millions of dollars to have a fast car what they're forcing is these big big companies like bugatti and ferrari and step up their game like a motherfucker uh, mclaren everybody has to step up their game because you can't just step, step you, up what game you can't but it's, it's about you can't just make a fast car you have to you have to make it something very very special and and what tesla is doing is what they're making special cars affordable for everyone. And also, everyone's going to go and bash on the, well, the product, the quality built of this thing is going to be like a Ferrari. It's got three years to get there. Yeah. No question about it. The quality built of the other cars is not bad. Yeah, yeah, Just exactly. a real no. They're building S-Class Every, level. Like- everyone bullshits that the quality level of the built of every Tesla is, I'm pretty sure those people have never had a Tesla. Yeah. Yeah, there were some panels that didn't fit perfectly and whatever, but would you ever go, oh, this is a poorly built car once? Dude, dude, if you give me a car that goes 0 to 60, 1.9 seconds, and the panels are off this much, I'd be like, you know what? You can make them off this much. It doesn't matter. And also, you guys have to remember, the biggest problem that Elon Musk had, and this is why he's the ballsiest fucking guy in the world, and every, every person and every journalist that has the balls to go and say, well, this guy's not making money, the battery... The technology that he brought to the cars was so expensive, he knew he had this much space to put an interior, to put this, and that his cars were going to be expensive. But he knew he was going to get to this point because Elon Musk is not looking at tomorrow. He's looking at the fucking future. Yeah. And you motherfuckers are looking at the past. So, I, so I, I'm sick of, like, of all these people not seeing this. This is brilliant. Yeah. Now this technology is getting cheaper and cheaper, cheaper and more accessible because it's being mass produced by several companies. And now there's many companies that are involved in the making of these cars. So what is Ferrari? What is Lamborghini? What is McLaren? What is Porsche going to have to do? Everyone's going to be electric rather soon. We talked about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. We talk, When we started doing this talk about cars, you know, like the podcast, the first thing that we talked about was electric cars and that's the future and that's where everything is going. And everyone said, nah, yeah. here we are. Yep. Two years later, Fucking! This is it, and I I'm so excited for the future. Yeah, yeah. This well, is the greatest. Well, it's like we see we see in like sci-fi movies and things. They'll t- they'll take like a they'll take an old Ferrari or Lamborghini and and then <laughs> and and then they'll modify it in the movie like to give it like a digital display <laughs> right. and screen. Like they they make they make it very futuristic. We're gonna see right. that technology come into the lower end cars before we see it in these hyper cars, and that's what's gonna change the game. You yeah. know, <clears throat> like. And and I don't want to call I don't want to call the Tesla Roadster a lower end car because it's not it's it's not affordable for everyone but it's close but but it's, it's oh it, yeah. It's, yeah it it makes it attainable yeah I actually thought this was going to be 150 grand this Roadster and I was like I was ex- I was like game over dude you're yeah. handing people but then you saw the numbers and you were at 250 and you're like no, that's oh, actually actually no 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 actually it's very interesting so Hamid my cousin's husband mm-hmm. he's a huge Tesla fan but he's not like a car guy. And he's a software company. And so I was ex- uh, describing the 918 to him. And I was like, yeah, it's got a, <laughs> it's got a V8. The two batteries got, and the V8. And he's like, what? What? <laughs> and then he's like, how much is this car? I was like, I don't know, 1.8. 1. He, he couldn't really understand. Process that. So when Elon revealed that car, it was only 200 grand. He was texting me. He's like, um, 
this does better than 918 numbers. There's only $200,000. Why? <laughs> no, he was like, uh, is it me or is this like the bargain of the century? I was like, it yep, is the bargain is the of bargain. the century. So he ordered one. He ordered one basically on the fact that, wow, I'm getting a car. Uh, I'm getting a car that's faster than a 918 for the, the, you know a fraction of the price. And that's how he viewed it. And he's like, oh, dude, let's go. By the way, I, I, saw, I saw an interesting article on. By the way, this car, and I'm sorry okay. before, because I'll forget. Yeah. This car came out at the worst fucking timing because I buy a buyer's, uh, a founder spec right now. I just have 39 cars and another, like, <laughs> other in order. Well, this is the worst time ever. I'm going to wait and hopefully some people will drop out of that shit because I'm. Or maybe I'm or, or Tesla. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm 100% getting Oh, you have that, to that, get this that, one. That, you have to. 100%. That, that's, all, that's also, it's, you know, let's, we can talk about that for a second. Is the $250,000 you have to put up for a Founder Series edition. To me, I don't see that, the, I don't see them selling out all thousand. I, I just I have a hard time seeing people putting down two hundred fifty thousand dollars and tying it and a, waiting for a three years and, and also for three years. the one thing that Tesla does have, which I understand, it's deadlines. They they don't hit a lot of their deadlines because they're a technology company. They're they're There's changing and pushing all, the yeah, envelope. Yeah. And we know not what the fuck do you do that's on time? That's like nothing. nothing. I'm, I'm moving and and we're and moving as fast as we can. As we can. Nothing's yeah. ever on time. So anyone judging a company based on that is also completely out of their mind. That they, they, that's also another thing. This people, doesn't work like school. Yeah, that's also another thing that people were really kind of disappointed that this Tesla Roadster came out is because now it becomes a distraction to of, of meeting like the Model 3 production delays and problems that they've had with that. It just is it's something that gets in the way. But to me, I think it's you something gotta, that generates yeah. good capital so that he can build the infrastructure to get the Model 3s out, to get everything out, to get the semis rolling. I don't think he's got to even worry about that. No, no, but, I but, think. But the thing is, like, we're here to help. I think we're here to help Elon. Like, we're here. I think people are going are gonna to give that 250 to help him. Like, that's I why think, I like, think we got to help Elon. If and, like, I really legitimately didn't have all these fucking cars and I yeah. didn't spend a fortune yeah. with everything I'm doing to the CGT yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, stuff, yeah, I'd yeah. put the 250 yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. I, I trust that dude. I yeah. know he's going to deliver. And, if and, not, and we want him to the money do, back. And we want him to do Of course. Because it's some, it's an, Tesla's an American company, guys. We live in America. Not sure who's aware of that. Yeah. There was one other thing that was confirmed, and that is Elon. Musk is a massive Spaceballs fan. Oh yeah! Uh, did you know that? I did me? not know that. You told me that. So you you know in space Spaceballs when they go into hyperspeed mode, you know what that what they actually call it in Spaceballs? Uh, um, ludicrous. L ludicrous mode. Yeah, ludicrous yeah, mode. yeah, yeah. The Model One Hundred or the the P Ninety, the Model yeah, yeah, S. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. of it went into ludicrous speed oh, mode. Oh, I thought it was ludicrous because yeah, of it. It's just crazy. Hold on. Do you remember in the in the video that we saw of the Tesla Roadster taking off and what what speed it went to? P Plat. Plaid mode, uh, which was, is which is also the fastest speed. Oh, in I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember that. Plaid mode. That. Yeah, I, yeah. I, How fucking crazy is that? I, I, he needs to incorporate um, the scene where they're combing the <laughs> the desert, and the guy goes, "We ain't found shit." <laughs> how, is he, uh, how is he gonna I don't know, incorporate somehow, that? Somehow. <laughs> can I can I ask you a question about the road? I don't know. Somehow, <laughs> yeah. Um, so people are telling me that it's not a hypercar because of what it what it can't do on a track. Do you? What is your thought of how this will handle on a track? And do you think it'll do well? Like now, it's got the new battery technology. It's not gonna die right off the bat. It's gonna do much better at cooling, right, compared to the older cars. Um, and also, just because it's to torque vectoring at its finest yeah. on these cars, yeah. this has to be able to just go around any turn faster than you could possibly imagine. So do you think it'll start breaking shattering and, track records? And also the batteries, everyone's expecting these batteries to be as heavy as the ones we have today. They won't they be won't homies. Be. They're they going to be like 20, 30% they're, lighter. They're lighter with more density. Yeah. So uh, no, you guys are wrong. This is, is a, a hypercar. Hyper car. And so let me ask you another question. Let's the say, cheapest hypercar ever built. Let's say it, it dominates every track. Like it beats every single production car. Now what happens to this car? It won't simply because of drag. I don't think it's got enough oh, oh, yeah, arrow, arrow I got in you. I here understand. to be able, like, for example, the P15 is just meant for that. I can't wait to put this Roadster up against these. But yeah, it's going to uh, be interesting to see what he does. Right. And it, 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 it will be. And also, this is where I draw the line. This is the car you need on the street. Nothing will ever beat you on a race. I, you know how everyone does, like, the Koenigsegg is the fastest car on earth? Koenigsegg has the opposite problem that these guys have. The Koenigsegg doesn't go until you're at 250 kilometers an hour. How often do you go 250 kilometers an hour? Well, it depends well, on I, if I'm late for work or not. <laughs> yeah, and, I also, and I also need to know, I also need to know what that translates into miles per hour. Uh, 250, 160? No idea. 160, 170? I have, I have no uh, idea. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever gone. In or out, either way. That's when the car starts to hook up and then go quick. 
this one will destroy anything, yep. including all those conning cigs, yep. basically up to like almost 200 miles an hour because of how fast it is. You see the value here? Yeah. When are you going to take those cars in those like long run speeds when this one you can destroy anything that stands next to you? Zero no to matter 18, what it zero looks to 18 like. Miles an hour. Zero to 18 miles an hour, zero to 60 miles an hour, zero to 125 miles an hour, zero to 150 yeah. miles an hour probably. Yeah. So what else brings that value to the street? By the way, I think Vic is going to make a fortune off repairing roadsters that have been in accidents under 18 miles an hour. <laughs> do you agree? <laughs> Rear ending. Just do you agree? Do you agree? It's yep. just going to be all day. He's going to have a whole new shop just for those. Just I for agree. That. I <laughs> absolutely <laughs> agree. I think so too. I think so because too. Because you, you're going to get an inexperienced person, right? Yeah. Who, who doesn't understand how much power and them going like this much, like halfway in the gas, you're done, son. It's actually a very scary thing to give people that kind of acceleration yep. without yep. having a tutorial. That, this but this is one thing Tesla does. When, it, when, when I got delivery of my Model X, and you remember that mm -hmm. day, yep. they gave us a very thorough uh, tutorial on the car, and they were very specific about accelerations yep. and all of that stuff, which I appreciate. No one else does that. Do you agree this is going to be the number one car you do not let anyone borrow? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. I'm buying 10 so that I can start a leasing company. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. But that's all That's all I have for today, by the way. What? Fargini's good news uh, and bad news. I, that's, all, that, that's, that's all I have for today. <laughs> Fargini, okay, that's all I have. That, that, was, what do you that was my transition okay. to Fargini. <laughs> okay. Glad you guys hey, received that. Usually it's, like, usually it's like a... Uh, uh, speaking of bad news. Exactly. Can, <laughs> I, can I give you a, a, a little transition? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Never mind. Never I think, mind. I, 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 go on. Well, you were about to sing a song, and I was going to give you like a little underscore beat of like a. <laughs> I, I saw you planning on something. <laughs> okay, I was ready for and it, and I got nervous. Oh, actually, the first one's about Tesla. Okay, it's actually, really interesting. So, what's the good news? So, the good news. So, as we just discussed, the new Tesla Roadster goes zero to sixty in one point nine seconds at a top speed of over two hundred fifty miles an hour. Yeah, we just talked about Which that. Is, uh, incredible, <laughs> right? Bad news. It's very close but still not fast enough to outrun its depreciation. Zing! <laughs> oh, that, by the way, <laughs> you do have a great point there. You How, do have a great wait, point. Wait, didn't you just talk about your mom's brother's cousin's whatever yeah, just yeah, yeah. Bought, bought the car <laughs> yeah, hey. because he thought it's going to appreciate? No, 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 no. No, he just no, bought no. it because it seemed like a bargain compared oh, to Oh, God, he got it. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay just so this is legitimately could be on the verge of depreciation, this I car. I don't think so. I, I do not. I think. What, I think the first ones that land, there's going to be a oh, no, frenzy no, no, no. for like at least six months. Yeah. If you get one yeah, of the first yeah. ones, you're set. Yeah, I don't think these depreciate. They'll, they'll deliver a hundred, and then you'll have to wait another six months for the next big batch to come yep, in. Yep. You think these will depreciate? I don't know. So this is a first. Yeah. Nor I. I'll, I'll fucking say any dumb shit you guys want, and like take a guess. Whenever I've seen a market do something, because I'll go with an educated opinion. Yeah. I've never seen this market before. Yeah. Oh, of course, no one has. This that. is no brand new for me, yeah, and I can't. I wait have to no see. idea. Yeah, can't wait to see. Yep. Uh, some other good news here. Jaguar in the news. Jaguar XEL, the new model, mm -hmm. will be it will be fully revealed in China with elongated wheelbase. So as an elongated wheelbase. Oh, that's okay. perfect for that market. Bad news. That also might be the most elongated thing in China. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going based with a dick joke. I'm just going based off stereotypes. So I understand. I had a feeling it was going to go that. I understand. <laughs> I had a feeling. I, I, I understand. These are these are common stereotypes you can find on Google, so no one will get mad at me. Yeah, because <laughs> you yeah. find it on the internet, it's, it's true. It's, yeah, exactly. exactly. Sensitivity. <laughs> yeah. uh, Porsche on the news. Yes. Just tell so, the good so, news. So though. good news. The, the Porsche 911 Hybrid, rumored to be back under development. A hybrid 911. That is good news. Okay. Bad news. <sighs> Great. Even less parking at Whole Foods. <laughs> you think you think it's, it's going to be, be a competition now? Because the thing is, now that you 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 drive a Pierce, now you're like, oh, I can have a 911 hybrid. Uh, I'll roll up to Whole Foods I'll in go, a 911 I'll go hybrid. Go to the Trader Joe's in it too. <laughs> Hold on, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Was that headline before or after the Tesla Roadster was unveiled? Because if After. it was, because if it, are you sure? Because I think if it was before, all the executives at the Porsche boardroom said, "Shit, <laughs> kill, kill the, kill the." Uh. <laughs> By the way, you no, actually like, brought up a good point. Why are we? Pe why are people even talking about hybrids? Uh, why? I, I have no idea. Why are we not going all electric already just and just it. making specialty cars, <laughs> like it, legitimately specialty cars for idiots like ourselves that we like yeah. to drive for ourselves? <laughs> yeah. Everything else should go just, but it will. Yeah. It's just it's just what we've been preaching for two years. It's just a slow transition for everyone to just accept it. Yeah, it's a okay. long walk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the longest walk. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this is very interesting. Interesting. Actually, it, it it goes along with us. It's food and cars. It's very interesting. Oh, I love that. So hmm. good news. Taco Bell employees get 
$4,385 discount on a Corvette Grand Sport. What? Get out on a Corvette? Yeah, you just need to be a Taco Bell employee. What's the bad news? Oh, boy. The bad news. The Corvette Grand Sport is still not fast enough to make it to the toilet before the diarrhea hits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know they're fast. I know they're very fast cars. But it's not like yeah, Tesla yeah. It's fast. Not the, it's, it's, not not Tesla the Z, fast. it's not the ZL1. Oh. It's not the ZL1. It can't compete with their five-layer burrito. Can I, oh. No. It's actually seven-layer, and that's one of my favorite things from Taco Bell. <laughs> I, I haven't had Taco Bell in yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah. We should. Yeah. Okay. And the last news, very heart, you know, heartwarming kind of, kind of good feel story. Okay. Good news. Owner gets car back 20 years after forgetting where he parked it. <laughs> this is not real. Are you serious? This is, this is so no, real. This no. is real. 20 years. I, I kind of imagine the bad news. Go ahead. The bad news. The owner has already forgotten he got the car back. Because <laughs> he's old as fuck. Get it, people? <laughs> thank you so much, Parkini. Thank you, thank you. That's, that's, it. that's it. I think that's it for today. That's all we got. If you guys like to share any stories, any pictures, any videos with us, please go on salamandri.com and share it with, with the whole community. We're always giving amazing fucking stuff for free, actually, there. To the winner of pretty much almost every week there on the site. Wait, I haven't got anything for free. Yeah, I I'm, sorry. For free I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In fact, I pay for a lot of stuff. Uh, I, this, is, this, is, this is the problem. <laughs> I can't give you guys anything for free because then people are going to be like, wait, what about me? And it's against official rules. Also. It's against just, the official rules. Yeah, so yeah, there's yeah. a lot of stuff got for it. free within the penis points, within just being a, a registered member at Salamandri.com. So make sure to do that. Uh, and people put, put up pictures of your girlfriend for me to see on Salamandri.com. Do, 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 hey, do, 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 do not do that, guys. No, just to see. Just to see. Just to see what you're driving. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, <laughs> see what you're writing. This was this was a real pleasure hanging out with you guys. <laughs> to my left, thank you very much, Pedro. To my right, thank you very much, Pargini. And you better get to boxing quick. I'm you Alejandro. Get to and, and by the way, there's no way I'm going to make it to Prevail today. So, <laughs> <laughs> see you guys later. Thanks.